Let's talk about the holidays and important dates in Sweden during the year. Oi! My name is not Sven, it is Martin. Yeah. So obviously we live in different places in the world and we celebrate different things. So I thought I would go through a Swedish year and what we feel is important, which days we have off and other weird times that we celebrate for weird reasons. Let's start with New Year's Dagen, New Year's Day, and New Year's Dagen is all connected to we have pizza. We're tired of all the food from Christmas, we want something, we feel mm, after New Year's Eve and we just want pizza. Tretton dag jul. We get the day off, we don't do anything. Sometimes it falls on a weekend, which is not so nice, and sometimes it falls in the middle of the week, which is nice. Tjugon dag jul, or as it is known, tjugon dag knut, is the day we toss out the tree. Most people have already done it by now, but that's the day we're supposed to do it. Alla hjärtans dag, which is not a holiday, it's one of those days when couples have performance anxiety because they have to be really, really romantic, and all the single people hate it. Fettisdagen, when we all eat in fettisdagsbulle, or as we call it, en semla. They will be totally out of semlo on this day. Rocka sockorna dagen, a day when we acknowledge people with Down syndrome by wearing non-matching socks. Skärtorsdagen, or skärtorsdagen. We get a half day off, woohoo! Followed by Långfredagen, a day we get to listen to our parents talk about how boring that day was because they were not allowed to do anything on that day. Poskdagen, we eat and we paint eggs and we drink påskmust. Also kids will dress up as witches and go out and beg for candy. Kinda sorta like Halloween. And the day after that is Annandag Påsk, which is always a Monday and we get that day off too. Also, uh, either the week leading up to Easter or the week after Easter is a holiday for kids from school, uh, depending on where in the country you live. Valborgsmässoafton. We light a big bonfire and we sing in the spring. It's also a day when people start drinking for the first time. And the day after that is Första Maj, which is the day for political demonstrations and speeches. And if it's an election year, that's the day when the election season kicks off. Mustag. We acknowledge our mothers. Kristi Himmelfast dog, which is always on the first day, which means we get the day off and usually we take the Friday off as well. And yeah, long weekend. We don't really do anything special about it, except we have a long weekend. Pinkstafton. Nothing happens. Annan dog pings, which is always a Monday and it used to be a red day, but back in 2005 we took that away to give way for Sveriges national dog. Or as it also is referred to, Svenska flaggans dog. But this day, unlike Anandog Pinks, might be on a weekend. So we might actually miss out on a day off. Which is like, meh. Also, we have no idea what to do with our national day because, you know, we're not Norwegians. Sommarsurstånnet. It all gets darker from here, even though summer has hardly even begun. Midsommarafton. Probably the holiest holiday of the year, even though it's not based on a Christian religion thing. We erect a leaf-clad, penis-shaped cross. We dance around it like frogs. We eat food outside, if possible, and play drunken games and skinny dip. But if you pick seven different types of flowers in seven different fields, and you put them under your pillow, you might actually dream about the person you are going to marry. But only if you shut up. I know it sounds weird, but yeah, that's the way it is. Meet some dogen. We're hungover. <laughs> Kreftpremieren. We eat crayfish, we dress up in silly, silly costumes, and we drink alcohol. Sounds familiar. Kanelbullens dog. We eat cinnamon buns. Halloween. Not exactly a holiday, it's a very imported holiday from the States. Uh, but again, just like Easter, we beg for candy, although we're dressed more monstrously. Allhelgonafton, which is the exact opposite of Halloween. A silent evening to reflect upon those who have passed away. We go to cemeteries and we light thousands of candles in silence. Allhelgonadagen, nothing special. False dog, we acknowledge our fathers. Usually with a new tie. Första advent, the official start of Christmas windows display, although many stores start way earlier than that. Ever heard of September? Brandvarnadagen. We check our smoke detectors and see that they're still working. 
Nobeldagen. The Nobel Prizes are handed out in Oslo and in Stockholm along with a big banquet. Lucia, a girl with light in her crown, comes along with her fellowship and sings songs about the upcoming Christmas and the darkest days of the year. <laughs> Vintersolståndet. It all gets lighter from here. Lille Julafton. You work a half day and then you sit up and play bingo all night. And then you get annoyed because it was too long and you didn't win. Julafton. Variations of this, but most commonly you watch a Disney show at 3 p.m. You eat a lot of Christmas food, including meatballs and egg and ham and stuff. You share presents and you visit family or families because, you know, divorce and stuff. Juldagen. People go to homecoming parties if you're from a smaller town. If you're not, you have to play with your toys. Annan dag jul. The official start of the Christmas sale known as Mellandagsrea. The between days sale. And finally, Nyosafton. We try to have the best night possible. We build up all these expectations. Some people will watch a thing on TV or be there in person uh, when an actor reads a poem to ring in the new year from Stockholm. And then half hour later, everything is like, okay. So that was a look at a common year here in Sweden. Let me know in the comments what kind of things you celebrate. What days of the year are special to you where you live uh, because of this and that and this. I don't know. Let me know. Let's chair. Let's chair. I'm sitting on a chair. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time you click on one of my videos. Bye.